<clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome <clears throat> to Evening Prayer on this Thursday, the 4th of March, 2021. Our readings from today, our Holy Scripture from Mass, uh, both the psalm and the first reading uh, remind us that uh, it's important who we put our trust in, what we put our trust in, and how we live our lives. The, uh, uh, the difference in, in, you know, what, how we, where we put our trust, you know, do we, do we trust in earthly things? Do we trust in, in wealth and riches and, and fame and, and all of that? Or, or do we, do we put our trust and hope in the Lord and live accordingly? You know, we can, uh, we can say things, but then we also have to do things. Uh, it, it's also reflected in this beautiful gospel story. You know, it's you see another another man named Lazarus in in the New Testament. There are two two Lazarus stories that we hear. Uh, one Lazarus story, of course, this is a real person, uh, Jesus' friend, the brother of Martha and Mary. But then in today's gospel, we hear a parable. We hear Jesus telling the Pharisees a parable, and he uses the name Lazarus uh, for this character in the parable where there's a rich man who lives in a, uh, a large home, very wealthy, uh, eats well, has his fill, dresses in fine clothing, and uh, lives his life in a lavish way. And right, it says, at his door, right as he's coming and going every day, he sees, or does he, Lazarus sitting there, poor, hungry, in ill health, the dogs coming and licking his wounds. And, uh, you know, I think we, sometimes we, we put blinders on and, and we don't see the needs around us. We don't even want to make eye contact with with uh, the poor. So it's this ignoring this man all his life at his door. And then, of course, it says Lazarus passed away and was carried away by angels to the bosom of Abraham. Then the rich man died. And he, too, uh, went to his grave, but was consigned to the netherworld. And he could see Abraham and Lazarus off in the distance. And he was pleading to, uh, to have Lazarus come and dip his finger in the water and just touch it to his tongue to relieve some of the torment that he was in. And of course, uh, that was not going to happen. And then he wanted to be allowed to have Lazarus warn his brothers so they wouldn't come to the same fate. And then Abraham reminds him that your brothers, like you, had Moses and the prophets to teach them and you know give them warning as to how to live, but they did not listen. And then he said, well, if someone comes back from the dead, they'll listen to him. <laughs> yeah. Jesus rose from the dead. And in this world today, how many people really listen, pay attention, and live according to the statutes and commands of our Lord? Let us pray for the conversion before it's too late the conversion of lives, the people around us and of ourselves. Help us to be brought to a more conformable place where we can act according to God's statutes and laws. Let us pray our evening prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
I have made you the light of all nations to carry my salvation to the ends of the earth. O God, give your judgment to the king, to a king's son your justice, that he may judge your people in justice and your poor in right judgment. May the mountains bring forth peace for the people and the hills justice. May he defend the poor of the people and save the children of the needy and crush the oppressor. He shall endure like the sun and the moon from age to age. He shall descend like rain on the meadow, like raindrops on the earth. In his days, justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. He shall rule from sea to sea from the great river to earth's bounds. Before him his enemies shall fall, his foes lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and the sea coast shall pay him tribute. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall bring him gifts. Before him all kings shall fall prostrate. All nations shall serve him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I have made you the light of the all nations to carry my salvation to the ends of the earth. The Lord will save the children of the poor and rescue them from slavery. For he shall save the poor when they cry and the needy who are helpless. He will have pity on the weak and save the lives of the poor. From oppression he will rescue their lives. To him their blood is dear. Long may he live. May the gold of Sheba be given him. They shall pray for him without ceasing and bless him all the day. May corn be abundant in the land to the peaks of the mountains. May its fruit rustle like Lebanon. May men flourish in the cities like grass on the earth. May his name be blessed forever and endure like the sun. Every tribe shall be blessed in him. All nations bless his name. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who alone works wonders. Ever blessed his glorious name. Let his glory fill the earth. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We will call upon your name, Father, and pronounce it blessed above the earth. Give your people the fullness of peace and justice in your kingdom. The Lord will save the children of the poor, and rescue them from slavery. Now the victorious reign of our God has begun. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was. You have assumed your great power. You have begun your reign. The nations have raged in anger, but then came your day of wrath and the moment to judge the dead, the time to reward your servants, the prophets and the holy ones who revere you, the great and the small alike. Now have salvation and power come, the reign of our God and the authority of his anointed one. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who night and day accused them before God. They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. So rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell therein. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now the victorious reign of our God has begun. A reading from the letter of St. James. Submit to God. Resist the devil, and he will take flight. Draw close to God, and he will draw close to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners. Purify your hearts, you backsliders. 
Be humbled in the sight of the Lord, and he will raise you on high. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I make my prayer for mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. The rich man who had refused Lazarus a crust of bread pleaded for a drop of water. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The rich man, who had refused Lazarus a crust of bread, pleaded for a drop of water. In his mercy, God sends the Holy Spirit to shine on us, so that our lives may radiate holiness and faith. Let us raise our voices in prayer and say, Lord, give life to your people, whom Christ has redeemed. Lord, source of all holiness, draw bishops, priests, and deacons closer to Christ through the Eucharistic mystery. May they grow daily in the grace of their ordination. Lord, Give life to your people, whom Christ has redeemed. Teach Christ's faithful people to be devout and attentive at the table of his word and of his body, so that they may bring into their daily lives the grace they receive through faith and sacrament. Lord, give, to your, give life to your people, whom Christ has redeemed. Grant, Lord, that we may see in each person the dignity of one redeemed by your Son's blood, so that we may respect the freedom and the conscience of all. Lord, give life to your people, whom Christ has redeemed. Teach us to restrain our greed for earthly goods and to have concern for the needs of others. Lord, give life to your people, whom Christ has redeemed. Be merciful to your faithful people, whom you have called to yourself today. Grant them the gift of eternal happiness. Lord, give life to your people, whom Christ has redeemed. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God of love, bring us back to you. Send your Spirit to make us strong in faith and active in good works. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may God bless you all. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night. See you tomorrow.